Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to your daily dose of coffee with Cory. That's me. Welcome back. Welcome back. So it's Sunday morning. I'm going to try to get this video out before I go to work in like 20 minutes. Is it possible? Probably not, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to try. If not, you're seeing this video later. I'm sorry about that. I have to go to work. Deal with it. For the next like six hours. Great. Mmm. So, I went to go leave Freedom. You know Freedom? Who has a no locking contract? I went to go leave Freedom. And uh, I'm stuck in Freedom for 30 more days because they don't have any lock-ins, right? But they do have a 30-day uh, on-link process, is what they said. That it takes 30 days to unlink you from the account, which I don't believe is actually true. I think uh, you can actually... When I went to go on-link, it said I could contact Freedom to see if they could do it sooner than the 30 days. Um, but that the 30 days was a courtesy for me. That if I decided in that time to stay with freedom that I could so I kind of want to tell you guys why I'm not staying with freedom so freedom's been great freedom's been really great and I might do like a video on why I'm leaving freedom at some point um, freedom's fine they're fine uh, they're I think that their employees are maybe a little unprofessional um, the only show that they do that is professional and high quality is the uh, well, I don't know. I don't know what shows they do that are professional and high quality. I really enjoy the Spotlight video. The 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 uh, the Baldy Brothers review show is pretty good. I enjoy that show. But all of their other shows, <laughs> it's pretty bad. Their hosts that they have doing it have no idea what they're doing. Most of them don't even use their natural speaking voice. Why are they hosting a show? And that's not necessarily to say anything about them. It's just it, freedom should have some training things. And also, they talk about, we're going to help you grow. They don't help you grow. They don't do anything for you to help you grow. They give you access to tools that you can use to help yourself grow and hope that you provide content that other people are going to watch, but they don't actually do anything. Hell, I tweet at Freedom all the time. All the time. Never got a retweet. It's always a favorite. Literally, never gotten a retweet from them. Uh, and that's not to say, like, oh, that's... But that's a direct way to help somebody grow, is to retweet a video when you have a ton of followers, right? Totally is. It absolutely is. But that doesn't happen. So why does that not happen? Why? Why? Because they say they're going to help you grow. I don't know. But if you guys are part of Freedom, let me know in the comments below what makes you... Uh, what makes you like freedom, or not like it, or anything like that. I will also say that their 60-40 revenue split is not good when you consider what they actually give you. So everything is fully automated for freedom, their forums and everything else, they have some moderators and stuff. So I guess it is nice to have access to f the forums, but you don't need to be a partner with freedom to have access to their forums. You don't. You can post on their forums at any time. Uh, I guess their music? But there is so much free music that you can use as long as you give the right uh, links and rights to. So that's kind of a bleh thing for me. I don't really care about that. Um, there are sponsorships, but their sponsorships are if you grow. And Freedom doesn't really help you do that, so that's not going to happen. And I guess if you get spotlighted, but I got spotlighted and that didn't really help me grow either. It showed me some things that I could fix, which was awesome. But it didn't help me grow because no one watches this show to to uh to go and check out other channels they watch the show because they are hoping to be featured they only leave people only leave comments on that because they want to be featured it's true it's a thing it's a fact it's a fact because they don't really offer any 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 anything to help people grow it doesn't happen it doesn't happen on freedom it doesn't happen so this has been a kind of a rant about why I'm leaving, uh, but I also got stuck in. And there's also a video, I don't know if you guys have seen this, but there's a video from some guy who I don't like, uh, personally. Um, the Rhinoz, I think. Not that I don't like him, I just don't enjoy his content, and uh, I disagree with him on, on some political standpoints, I suppose. Uh, but he had an issue with freedom. And he made a video about it to his subscribers, and Freedom responded in a video, calling him a kid, 
and whiny and all of this other stuff. Some guy from from Freedom that I've never heard of actually like left a, a video that was so unprofessional for them to do, so incredibly unprofessional to treat your partners like that, even when you say, not even your partners, because Freedom's big thing is we're a family. So to treat your family like that, we aren't family, Freedom. I've never felt like a member of your family, except for the awesome people in your forums and the awesome people that I've been lucky enough to talk to from Freedom. They have felt like family and they treated people like family, but not you, Freedom. Not to you. But all that aside, freedom is good. It's good. If you're not really looking to support anything with with freedom, the 60-40 revenue share, who cares? Um, money isn't why you go into YouTube, it's a fact. Unfortunately, I need something that's a little bit better of a revenue share because I do want to support myself with this, so that's just that just happens. But if you're not looking for that and you're just looking to hang out with some awesome people and stuff, the freedom freedom is great. If you want to use some of their music, that's also good. If you're lucky enough to get some of their sponsorships, that's also good. They do the $100,000 thing. It's a little bit of false advertisement, I have to say. It's not a $100,000 sponsorship. They don't give you $100,000. They had $100,000 that they bought things with, and they send you, like, $30 things, which is fine, but don't call it a $100,000 scholarship. Uh, scholarship. Sponsorship. Common sense. Common sense. It's, it's clickbait, is what it is. It's like, oh my god, they're giving away a $100,000? Watch, they're going to give away the car, and it's going to be like a tire to the car. I'm being too harsh. I'm being too harsh on freedom, and I apologize. This video has not been all about freedom. I might re-record this. I don't know. I don't know. You might be seeing this. Who knows? Who knows? So that's that's it for my show. It went a little long today because I was ranting. Uh, there are good things about freedom, I swear. Uh, so that's, that's all I got. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, my question is, if you are involved with Freedom or any network, tell me what your experiences have been. Uh, good, bad, whatever, I want to hear it all. So go ahead, tell me what your network is. Uh, if you're not into, if you're not a YouTube content creator or anything like that, uh, leave a comment telling me what your favorite uh, Marvel movie is. Me and my roommates were having this talk last night. Mine is Iron Man 3. I know, I know, a lot of people are weirded out about that, but mine's Iron Man 3. What is yours? So, anybody can answer that, go ahead. Alright, this show went on way too long. So thank you guys for joining me for the Daily Dose, and remember, never give up, never surrender.